Hey everyone, Ian here with MA Performance. Thanks for tuning in to our YouTube channel. Today's topic is going to be on fuel injectors. Uh, specifically today we have here these new injector dynamics fuel injectors. These are the new X series. Uh, what I have here is the 1050X and the 1350X. So what is the difference between the new X series versus the old one? Well, they've basically taken a couple of years from R&D from the previous 1000s or the previous 1300s or you name it. Um, and they've taken that information, they've designed these new X series. So these are going to flow about 5% more fuel than the previous generation. Um, they also incorporated a more durable and, 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 and powerful magnet. So these are gonna have a more consistent fuel pressure which might add with better drivability and a little bit easier to tune for the tuners end. They're gonna come with all the O-rings that you're gonna need and they're gonna come with these pigtails. So technically out of the box, these are gonna have to be soldered or wired into your factory injector harnesses. Or for you lazy guys like myself, they make these plug and play adapters. This is the best thing I've ever seen in the fuel injector game. Um, injector Dynamics makes them, FIC makes them. They are pretty popular across some of the aftermarket injectors, but ideally with a plug and play adapter, you simply have the injector harness on one end, and then you have the vehicle specific harness on the other end. So these will literally just plug into your existing OEM harnesses, and then you can plug them right into the injector. There's no soldering, there's no cutting, there's no tapping in of any of the wires. Let's talk about sizes. Like I said, what's the best size for my setup? And the answer to that is, I don't know. It, realistically, every car is different. It's gonna depend on your turbo setup and your fuel setup and what kind of fuel you're running, etc. But here's my little tip on a pump gas setup. 1,000 cc's, you're typically gonna be good for in excess of 500, 550 wheel horsepower. If you're a guy running a flex fuel setup or full E85, you do have to keep in mind that with the ethanol, on average, you will need 30% additional fuel to make the same amount of power. So these 1050 axes on 93 octane probably get you the 5550 range. If you're gonna be running ethanol, probably not gonna be enough to cover it at that power level, which is why you'd maybe wanna look into the 1300s. If you've got a vehicle such as an FRS or a BRZ that has dual port injection from the factory, right? So you've got direct injection on top of a port injection system. You may not need as big of a fuel injector or a port injector to accomplish your power goals. Like you won't need a 1050 cc injector to make 500 wheel horsepower on a dual port system. You might need something smaller. But for vehicles such as the Evos or the, you know, any of the EJ powered vehicles that they're port injection only, it, it will be kind of critical as far as what size will work best for you. Another thing to keep in mind, and I've done it myself, is plan for the future, okay? Plan for the future. If your goal today is 500 wheel horsepower on E85, okay? And you, you call us and we recommend an injector for you. But eight months from now, you build the motor, you do a bigger turbo, you, whatever the case may be, you, or you switch from pump gas to ethanol, the injector we sold you may not be compatible. So it's best to kind of think ahead of what you're gonna do with the car down the road. If you're happy with, this is the power I wanna go, I need an injector to work, not a problem at all. But keep in mind, if down the road, you know that you're gonna build the car bigger and faster to maybe keep that in mind. So you buy one fuel injector and not have to spend money on another set down the road. Now, as far as I also hear like, how big of an injector can I go reliably? Um, and realistically, we normally don't see issues as far as drivability or tuning um, until we get into the 17, 18, or 2100 cc range. Uh, those injectors may be a little troublesome for daily driving and tuning, uh, just due to the fact that the vehicle is gonna be running excessively rich with an injector that size. But best thing to do is to email us or give one of our sales guys a call and explain your vehicle, explain the setup and your power goals. Uh, one of us will be easily able to recommend the appropriate injector that's gonna work best for you. 
Uh, another question I get is, will these work on other types of fuel? Absolutely. So Injector Dynamics has specifically engineered these to work with uh, different types of fuels or corrosive fuels such as ethanol. Uh, these are completely compatible with ethanol fuel, pump gas, race gas. These are not going to corrode, they're not going to clog up, they're not going to fail on you if, if you're running an alternative fuel. Again, please give us a call or refer to the injector size chart that we're going to link in this video to find out the best size that's going to fit your vehicle and your needs. Well, that's pretty much going to cover it for today. If you guys have any questions specifically on Injector Dynamics injectors or fuel injectors in general, please comment below. I'll be glad to try to answer as many as I can. Uh, you can reach us through Facebook. You can give us a call or you can email us directly and we'll be glad to help. Thanks for watching, and also, uh, we're going to be doing some more product features here in the future, so stay tuned, make sure to subscribe. I love you guys, and we'll see you soon.